Well, good afternoon. This is Raymond Jagerson, Technical Director of Sveidrup Steel, ready for some questions uh, during our show in Houston last week. Thank you. Well, Raymond, good to see you. You did field a number of questions around corrosion performance issues of scrubbers. What, to your mind, are the three key takeaways? Well, as I said uh, about two years ago, one of the important issues with respect to success in uh, uh, performing uh, in production of uh, scrubbers was to have uh, a collaboration with a, a good material supplier as the main part. The second part was to choose a, a, a fabricator with knowledge of welding and pickling and all that that uh, is involved in, in the construction of it. And secondly, to have a uh, staff that are, are uh, educated and are able to follow the procedures that the management has set up. These, these of course, are the ideals. We know the facts on the ground don't always achieve these lofty ideals there there's been a lot of industry feedback on welding standards material standards are we seeing improvements well i would say yes because when we started around uh, 2017 2018 i saw that the knowledge base was very limited and uh, i must say that i was very scared when i saw that companies not known to produce or, or a way, uh, that were not acquainted with producing the, in these high alloy materials, uh, then I must say that I, I, I was afraid. But definitely over the last two years, I have seen that they have improved and uh, the quality has also improved. But all the, most, I would say more or less, all the faults that I have seen are related to uh, workmanship. How how has the supply chain stood up in the face of COVID and other issues? Well, of course, that has been a challenge for, for many uh, companies. Uh, I would say that Sveidrup Steel, having around 40% market share of the supplies of these material, high alloy materials in, in into the scrubbers, uh, we have been very, I would say, fortunate to have the opportunity to, to, to travel and to meet with the manufacturers. However, we know that in certain areas, it's been more or less impossible to visit uh, the countries in, in China or other places. However, some of the, uh, some of the uh, scrubber designers or scrubber uh, owners like Weizsela and Yada and uh, they have all, of course, their own people uh, in these countries supporting the production. And that is good. However, it's rather limited in numbers. So I think that uh, in an ideal world, as you said, I would have liked to see more people involved in, in, in that aspect or third parties taking part. And finally... Raymond, reflecting on the conference, did it meet your expectations? Well, to a certain extent. Uh, what I would have liked to see more was the engagements of the uh, of these companies that have designed the, uh, the scrubbers and so on, and also the manufacturers. And I would have seen liked to see more openness about the challenges that I know about that has been in, in this industry. Sharing knowledge is, on, is the only way in order to improve on the quality of these products. And we all have the same goal, meaning that we want to see scrubbers integrated into the ships together with CO2 capture and making the, uh, the environment much better for all of us. Raymond, thank you very much indeed.